Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Each and Odyssey 3. HD, with me, Voltage Begammer. Okay, let's try, uh... Let's try not dying horribly this time. Let's try to recover the progress that we made last episode, from this point. So I've already done this. I want to get the boulder. I've already done this, but... Now I don't have all the things I had before. So I need to do this again. Sorry about that. But I guess that's just the nature of the labyrinth. Blast them down. They're gonna start using physical attacks now because they knew the lightning isn't gonna work. Oh, that just worked. That went a lot better than last time. But there's still the other fight. Which is still not hard. This will be fine. We don't need to charge up for these weaker monsters. Probably. Oh, they did more damage than all the foxes. This will be fine. Okay. We got the rock. We got the rock. I still need to unlock all the other things. I should still rest with the tent. Because we still don't have enough other stuff. The tent is pitched. It's used. We are good. For now. I'm going to make judicious uses of this quick save. And we're going to make our progress back to be where we were. But not run into that FOE. This will be fine. Oh no. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. <laughs> hey look, we even still discovered the poison branch. Okay, so that takes us over here. We discovered all this. Uh, let's use this to not die. Uh, maybe a prevent order would be in order here. Okay, good to know. They do magic damage. I guess that's true. They do do the lightning thing. So that's fun. That's good to know. All that stuff is free. The stun is still there. We're just gonna blast this turn. I gotta charge up again. Like, the damage is nice. But we also need them to, like... Like, we only need so much damage, you know? Yeah, charging up every single action isn't always the best. I can go over here now. I'm worried about it. As you walk down the Shining Pass, you find an orange fruit tree growing on one of the... You'd find an orange fruit growing on one of the trees. This large, fully ripened fruit has a pungent aroma and looks as if it would be delicious. If you like, you can pick the fruit and taste it for yourself. Yes! You take a hearty bite of the fruit. Its sweet taste is pleasant to the tongue. However, the fruit was riper than you anticipated, and its juices burst all over your clothing. Everyone laughs at the sweet smells oaked in their clothes before returning to the journey. Hmm. Hmm, I have a feeling I'm going to take acid damage from that in a little bit. We should really wash that off. Say bursty fruit. It's salt, too. As you walk the forest past, you suddenly notice monsters from all directions. It seems they've been attracted to the sweet smell of the fruit that you ate earlier. Before you have the time to regret this make mistake, the starving beasts leap at you with bared fangs. 
Yeah. Yeah, that figures. That figures. We deserve this. Yeah, we deserve this. Don't know what was going on with my skills there. If I get a refresh off, they're just going to repoison me. Oh well. Oh well. You fend off the first wave of monsters, but still more remain. But still others remain with hungry looks in their eyes. Before you have time to repair, a second pack of beast attacks. Ooh! A miasma bud! Well, that sounds great! That sounds absolutely, absolutely fine. There's no way this could This is gonna be awful. Uh, let's uh, let's do a party heal. Uh, the party heal go off. Ah, uh, bolt is just so slow. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Nice party heal to the front. The ready to action couldn't go through because we handled the mob that was prepared. After defending yourselves from the beast, you waste no time washing yourselves with drinking water. You reflect ruefully that the uh, scent of enticing, a scent that enticing would naturally attract keen-nosed creatures. You resolve to learn from your recklessness and return to your exploration with greater care. Okay, we're back to it. I could discover what's this way. I know that this will take me where I want to go, though, right? Yeah, I didn't explore this way here before. I don't like these. I don't like those pigs. I know I need their other drop. Please be a box. Oh, I don't like those either. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm just pushing it again, aren't I? It's the same thing, but worse. Well, I got this corner of the map discovered that I didn't have discovered previously. That's neat. My health is fine. Now I'm warped over here again. I didn't get this corner over here. Yep, that's why I don't have that corner over here. Got it. Okay, fair enough. How do I get back to where I was? I could go and check the VOD. I go could go and check the recorded video. But... Alright, where am I going, actually? This was the one I needed to take, right? Not really, no. No, that was wrong. This took me to a new place, but it's not where I would need to be. Again, this does indeed go to this way. This is not where I need to be. Okay, hold on. What takes me back to that landing point there? I didn't mark it, did I? No, I do need to be there. Okay, I'm silly. I'm really silly. I need to be up there. I can read my own map, I swear. Now I'm pushing it again.
Goodness sake, what is wrong with me? I do need to use the hidden pass. Okay. I can read my own map, I swear. We're gonna take a little bit of a beating. I will go and touch the floor again, I swear. Okay. Now I'm here. Alright, I know how to do it. I know how to do it. I can walk through that one. But I don't need to. I can walk through it this way. Got it. Got it. I found it out on accident last time, and I'm just being silly this time. Sorry, everybody. Yep, shirt sure, poison. Yep. Ow. Yeah, you can't do anything. If I don't heal the party, then we're dead. We might be dead anyway. Can't do that too much longer. If I don't run, then we lose. Okay. I'm going to touch that floor, then I'm going to use the thread. Okay. All right, now I use the thread. We're going to actually make progress this time, I swear. Here we go. It would have been really sad if I didn't have a thread. Okay. New floor, new dialogue everywhere. We treat the wound. We stay until the evening. Get all my stuff back. I need to make sure I buy a new tent. I need to buy new Amritas. But first... Oh, it's you. I've heard that you've been snooping around about me lately. You don't have doubts about the request I... Wait. That purple tail. Please, can you spare me a violet tail? I'll pay you handsomely. Here you go. Thank heavens. You're a big help. I was keeping this secret, but now I can finally do it. I'm thinking of using this tale to make warm clothing for my sister down in the deep city. I figured as much. To be honest, I wanted you to check on her so I'd be sure she didn't find out about this. In any case, you'd help both of us out. I'll add a little something sweet to your reward. Nice! Welcome. Ah, it's you. I'm unclear on the details, but I know much has happened that you and you've been exploring the porcelain forest. Well, it matters not where you go and what you do, as long as you do it confidently and passionately. Pay no heed to what others say about you. Keep to the path you believe in. Perhaps that wasn't what you'd expect from me, but I'm not totally one-dimensional, you know. <laughs> I see. Look, we can make stuff. I absolutely need to buy a new tent. They are useful. I just forget to use them a lot. Uh, what else do I need to buy? Did I buy a thread? I'm sure I bought a thread. I did. Okay. I need Amritas. Let's get like three. I use them. They get used. How do I report both of these? Welcome back. So it is looking like you had to go to the deep city and back again, yes? They may say what they like, but those two girls seem to care an awful lot about each other. Ah. Oh, now I am reminded that the older one said that she was giving some clothing to her sister. I hope it gets made soon. I am looking forward to it. Here, this is your reward. The girl said she added a little sweetener to it. I tried licking it, but it didn't taste any sweeter, though. Girl? But that's three from Alta Heights. That's a lot. That's very good. I like that. Well, well, welcome. Were you able to get the requested item? Is this part of that mysterious boulder? Ooh, it's all warm in my hand. It calms me down, too. Are you thinking there are spirits in it? Hello? Spirits? Then again, that merchant is just going to give it to his boss. 
What a wasting. But I can't judge. A request is a request. My emotionings are no matter here. Good job. Here is your reward. A pleasure doing business with you. Two intelligence books. Oh, you guys. I am so glad you made it back safely. So, so glad. I don't really know what you're facing in your explorings right now. But the looks on your faces say it is truly fierce. You look like true adventurers. If you ever feel lonely, or need a drink, or a side job, or just a friend, come on in! I'll always be here. Oh, that's nice. Good for you, Missy. And good for one of you for being here. Hey guys, I had you made it to the 20th floor. Congrats. Help me out so much this far. Drinks are on me today. It pays to be nice once in a while. Check this out. It's a dark cat's claw. In the elaborates coming up is why I'm showing you. If you want one, Charb Royal Volt Cap with a fire attack. Easier. Just keep it to yourselves. Though, I don't know if it matters much, since most guys never get that far down to begin with. <laughs> Princess Victoria of the Royal Guards. Oh, it's her again. My attendants, Benjamin and Albert, aren't back from the shopping yet. I'm quite bored. Linger a while. Tell me, have you fought any divine judges? Their volt attacks are rather fearsome. If Benjamin hadn't protected us with volt card, we'd have been fried to cinders. Moreover, it heals itself when not attacking, so struggles against it can last quite some time. But a fine princess I'd be if I shrunk from such vermin. Let us both keep our heads held high. Ah, uh, that's good to hear from you, Victoria. Anyway. Oh god. Not big spoil- Oh. It's just you folks. Look, I'm really busy now. Reckless idiots keep flocking to register here, because they want to be just like you folks. I got my hands full taking care of them, so they can live even one day longer. But that's my lot in life. You guys need to focus on your own duty right now. When you can do that, that's when you'll come in your own. And not as explorers, but as people. Hmm. Ah, members of Gears. Look there, a ship carrying more young people than just ducked. When you get here, you were much like them. You had anxiety in your eyes, but hope and strength too. I wonder how many of them rest their glory from their own hands. Maybe none of them. Some will perish out of sheer misfortune. Others will leave after frustration crashes their dreams. No matter how quickly they fade from our memories, the sea never forgets. That's when you should be glad you leave on your next journey. I pray you're met with good fortune. Ah. Everybody's getting so melancholy now. Oh, Thodia isn't here. It's not that she doesn't trust the members' gears. It's just that she wants to see the princess's safety personally. So she headed out. I see. I see. Welcome back, everyone. The Abyssal King and Olympia left for the battlefield. They're out to slay the Deep Ones. But something tells me I'm not going to see either of them again. Well, that's really sad. I got a letter from my sister! The Explorer delivered it here. It said I should come back to Armor Road if I can. Uh, there weren't any specifics, but I could tell she thinks something bad is about to happen down here. But so many explorers rely on this shop. Won't they be in trouble if I close it down? Uh, I should be fine. If I end up in danger, one of those brave young explorers will save me. <laughs> oh, such a romantic. I've received word from Olympia. They finally found the place they were searching for. But I have a terrible feeling they won't be prepared for what they find. I hope they'll be safe. It's odd seeing them show some legitimate concern, but I guess they would show concern for their own countrymen. Uh, let's see. Do I got new quests? I reported all the ones I had. Mooning over Clover. My son gets picked at, on at school because he keeps talking about four-leaf clovers. Could you possibly find one for him? Ah, welcoming. You are taking on that request, yes? Thank you as always. The client is wanting a four-leaf clover for her son, who gets picked on a lot. I don't believe it is right for a parent to butt into problems between kids. Well, whatever. She put up a request, and I am not going to stop her. You can do it! 
I remember reading as a four-leaf clover in a picture book about the royal forest. It might be easier if you talk to that person over there. He's a botanist. Go on, then. Help this overprotective mother th hen keep her chicks safe. And how about the bird pair? The first round was being overrun with bird monsters. They'll pose a threat to our bird if we don't do something. There you are being. This is an urgent request made by the Explorers Guild. They are saying that there are these bird monsters running the mock on the first floor. That is where novices and tourists and little children go. This is very dangerous. They are needing you to go to the first floor and wipe out those birds. We're counting on you. Now head out, adventurers. I hope this is harder than last time. Ah, it's you guys. I have a favorite at what? You took on a bird mission? Good, good. There's been an explosion of the bird population on the first floor. It's starting to be a hazard. According to the guards, the birds seem to have been the leaders that's hiding somewhere on the first floor. I don't know if taking out the leader will cause the bird to leave, but it's our only shot. Normally, I'd handle this myself, but there are a lot of novices being killed. Honestly, I'm a little jealous of you. I thought I'd get to put my sword to use. Well, I doubt you would be defeated by the likes of some birds. Go show your medal. Uh, let's see. I needed to gather information. Hibiscus, the flower of delicate beauty. Perfect for me, no? How may I help you, explorers? You're looking for a four-leaf clover. Hmm. Do you know of the ancient monster called Mistletoe? You look as if you have no idea what I ask. Borage, the flower of dull, slow wits. Simply put, bring me the remains of a mistletoe, and I'll tell you where you can find your clover. Quince, the flower of effort. All things worth having require effort. Good luck, explorers. Wait, mistletoes? Aren't they found on the chimera? Does that mean I have to fight the chimera again? Or the manticore, rather? Either way, let's save the game. And then go to the first floor. Glorious journey start. Now, where are... Ah, oh, they're hiding in that area that was... Okay, alright, I can go there. Is there a section of the map I haven't been? It looks like, yeah, there's a couple of, like, links of road that I haven't been to. You see a cluster of three leaf clovers growing off the path from the forest entrance. If you hadn't accepted that request, you wouldn't have walked right... You have walked right past, ob obliviously. You then see a boy desperately searching for something in the clover on the ground. He inserts his place for a four leaf clover or leaf. Hold on. Oh. Oh, you guys are nasty. Okay. Yeah, they, they weren't kidding. These are nasty, terrible monsters. Nasty, nasty monsters. The nastiest. I don't know what kind of bird monsters I was expecting, but it absolutely wasn't these. Uh, I could probably do a... I don't think they're gonna die. So a protect order would be cheaper than a line heal. Yeah, they're not dead yet. Yet. There we go. You come to a clearing in the forest and see two gigantic birds nesting together. The birds coolly turn to stare you down. They appear to be a mating pair. These monstrous lovebirds must be the targets of this request. Attack them, if you dare. Preemptive attack. Uh, it only has 120 health. We're killing it. Alright. We've got a load of experience. Let's see. Let's top up you. It appears I have no way to just be able to handle one at a time. Avian King!
Well, we're probably going to fight both of them at the same time. So let's get a nice amount of buffs up. Oh, they buff themselves. What'd you get yourself with? I'm not sure. I'm going to use Aegis Defense anyway. Because I don't think you're going to do magic damage. That might be my downside, but you know what? I'm going to give it a go. Uh, what can you do? Attack. Okay, and there is the, the Major Domo. We're going to have to do our best to keep everybody alive and healthy. Uh, maybe a... Maybe a guard order is in order. <laughs> Alright, um... You don't have it charged yet. Let's do another wolf howl to lower the defense of the other one. Maybe I can call their auto attacks back here. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's really bad. Okay. Um, maybe. Maybe. Okay, this is impairments. I don't think that's status effects. I think I sold all my Theriasa and, and bought all the Unihorns, but I don't think they do what I want them to do. And I only have a Theriasa A, which won't fix my problem. Well, I do have a Nectar, though. Okay, uh, let's try a Medica. I'm just going to be blasting front mortars. Maybe drop a meteor on them. I don't have time to charge up. Okay, that didn't work. Uh, this is time for a Nectar then. Can't use a limit because someone's dead. Oh, no, I can use it because we have three people who have it. Other voltage counts. <laughs> okay, front border it is. And I don't want her to die. Well, this is my last Medica 3. I can't buy Medica 3s. I can only buy Medica 2s. Oh, well. It's there to be used. Okay, that takes care of one. Okay. Let's start this nonsense. I don't want Magic Face to die. I think we're gonna be fine. I think we're gonna be fine. Never mind. Stunned for a round. Good. Stunned for a round. Good. Excellent. That's that's just what we like to see. No, it isn't. I lied. Is it hit with a wolf howl? No, absolutely not. What do you... Hold on. Did I just use an Amrita instead of a Nectar? I may have used an Amrita instead of a Nectar on the down person. How foolish of me! How very, very foolish of me. Oh, well. What can be done about it now? Okay, we got Fungus back up. Okay. All right. We're back at working order, kind of. Can't be too much more left of that. Can't be too much more left, right? Darn it, stun! Okay, we're gonna do that again. We're going to do that again. It's almost dealt with. There's a little bit more. Of course that's done! Okay, we got it. We got it! And no one died! 
The moment both birds are dead, you witness an unimaginable sight. Thousands of birds rise up from the trees, blotting out the sky as they flee. Without the leadership of the two giants, the flock has apparently fallen apart. In any case, the request has been completed. Report back to the bar when you can. Okay. I can bike. Wait, now be on sword. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. A sword that stuns. A massive sword with a white blade named after an ancient giant. Okay. All right, a stunning blade. That could be really nice. Except I like spears now. Ugh. That would be great for a Blade Rave Gladiator. I don't have one of those either. Alright, I used a lot of Amritas and Nectars. I think I used like three Nectars. Let's just buy two. Okay. Take a rest at the inn. Takes care of that. And report our success at the Bistro. Ah, you are back! So, you have exterminated those birds, yes? Well done! The big bearded guy from the guild left a reward for you here! I've never seen so many birds at the same time in all my life! I was so surprised! Then, all the birds flew over the city and showered us with crap! Even more surprising! I have a request for you right now! Here is a mop and bucket, so if you- Hey, come back here! <laughs> no. That is not what we do. Monster from across the sea! Thanks to your cure you gave me, Elia's safe! But I wanted to talk about something else that's bothering me. That's a lot of money. Oh, you're accepting that request? That is another one from the boy at the inn. Thanks to your actions last time, a lot of people were saved from danger! It is looking like that rascal of a kid is still worried about something, though. So go and talk to him again, just like all the other times. Make sure you be ready. My bartender sense is telling me this is going to be a big one. Go get, go get going then, explorers. I'm going to save before I talk to the kid. Oh, hello, everyone. Huh? You accept a request from the bar? Thank you very much. I owe you all so much for all you've done. It turns out that the Green Death Disease was being spread by a monster under Ellie's town. When the townspeople realized that, they tried to kill it, but it got away. It escaped into the ship headed for Armor Road, and all the ships they sent to catch it were sunk. The only warning that made it here was Ellie's letter. Even if I told the guards, they wouldn't believe me. I'm just a kid! You're our only hope! Please, find the monster and defeat it before something horrible happens. What? Hey, do you guys see that? Some plant monster jumped off a ship and ran into the forest. It looked wounded. That may be why it didn't run into the city and cause any havoc. The guards will begin a full and thorough investigation soon. Please stay put until then. And again, I guess there's no point in telling you that. Just don't do anything crazy. What? Is it on the first floor? I don't see anything here. I guess I could open up all those locked chests that's been locked forever. That would be nice. I have no idea where this is, actually. So you know what, since I'm going to be going after this thing eventually anyway, I'm, uh, I'm going to save in a different slot. And call it there. Next time on Atrian Odyssey, Green Death! The Return? Oh, no. Later, Explorers.